What's up, guys? So Yogo Man has an inaccurate depiction of what Alaska's really like. All his, his dry cabin and hiking and biking and fishing and hunting and snow go riding and Honda riding uh, videos. That's not urban working class Alaska. That plays into the myth of settler colonialism, the myth that settler colonialism perpetuates, right? That goes into what Tia Tidwell was talking about on the Alaska myth, the Alaska myth podcast. By the way, listen to that podcast because it's a great podcast. And it exposes the history of settler colonialism in Alaska, right? Yogo Man and numerous other YouTubers and influencers in Alaska, they act as if Alaska is some vast wilderness where you can hunt, fish, ride Hondas, ride snow goes, do biking, mountain biking, go camping, Nordic skiing, backcountry skiing, like that stuff. They don't talk about the urban working class of Alaska. They don't talk about Mountain View, Fairview, Spinard, Downtown, Government Hill, Taku, Airport Heights, Russian Jack, Midtown, Scenic Foothills, Tudor, the U-Med District, the working class, Campbell Lake. That's the working class of Alaska. That is the urban working class of Alaska. They don't talk about those areas. They don't talk about the lack of public transportation, the lack of walkable sidewalks, the poor infrastructure, the lack of a real community center, the lack of a centralized masjid. They don't tell you about the lack of good restaurants. They, don't, they won't tell you about that. They won't tell you about that. They won't tell you about the lack of bicycling infrastructure. They won't tell you that there are only two neighborhoods in the entire state that have a walk score of above 80. Or at the very minimum, two neighborhoods in the Anchorage Bowl that have a walk score of above 80. You see, Yogo Man comes from a place of real privilege. Yogo Man grew up in a subdivision with paved streets. I grew up two, sub, or two streets east of Yogo Man. I grew up on two different homesteads. I grew up on my mom's homestead. I grew up on my grandpa's homestead. I know what it's like living on a, on a dirt road. I know what it's like living in a neighborhood with a walk score of 31. I know what it's like living in a neighborhood with a poor transit score, right? I know what it's like living on a homestead, having to garden, having to raise rabbits, having to raise chickens and roosters. Because I've lived that life. I've lived the life that Yogo Man want, probably wants to live. I've been to a dry cabin. My, my, fish, my uncle's fish camp, which used to be my grandpa's fish camp, is a dry cabin. I've lived that life, man. I've lived off the road system. My dad lives off the road system. My dad's village is only accessible by boat or plane. Right? I've lived the life that Yogo Man wants to live. And it's not worth it. I would rather be in a walkable neighborhood where I can just walk to the grocery store, walk to the gym, walk to the masjid, walk to restaurants, walk to the library, walk to the soccer field, right? Walk to the community park, you know, a place where there's farmer's markets, you know, a place where that has walking infrastructure, bicycling, I don't really bicycle, but bicycling infrastructure, public transportation, a place with a sense of community that creates a healthy community where there are good role models for the next generation. That's the type of place I want to promote. Not some wilderness hike and bike adventure like Yogo Man. And there's a difference between me and Yogo Man. I was born in Alaska. Yogo Man was born in Michigan. With all due respect to Michigan and all my cousins down there, man. Not to sound stereotypical or anything. Yogo Man grew up two streets west of me. We grew up in the same town. We grew up in South Anchorage, Alaska. We grew up in the same neighborhood. We grew up in the same municipality. But here's the difference between Yogo Man and me. He grew up in a place of privilege. I didn't, right? He had a two-parent household. I didn't, right? Grade five, we were in the same class in grade five. He got sent to Ignite, 
which is a, a extra school program for wealthier that wealthier individuals with more support at home, they send their students to Ignite. I didn't. I got sent to resource math because I was bad at math. 